What's going on, Pirate Crew? Welcome back to Will of DDT. Bia here with a carrot deck profile. Just took this deck to locals, had a lot of fun, uh, one, and wanted to share the list with you guys. For those of you that don't know, Carrot is a mono green leader, and her abilities activate main. If you have a mink type character, rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. Fantastic, it's just free. All you gotta do is have a mink type character, you rest something if you wanna get over a blocker or just wanna starve out your opponent and just swing at their bodies instead. Try to force out counter and keep their board clear. She's a great board control leader. So let's go ahead and get into the list. We'll start off with our searcher. We have four Wanda. So she searches any mink other than herself. So we have plenty of mink targets that you'll, as you'll see. And then getting her turn one is fantastic because then it just makes leader ability live for the rest of the game so long as she's on there, right? So you don't have to wait turn two or turn three. You can start resting things right away and swing into characters your first turn if you don't want to get your, uh, if you don't want to swing into leaders like BY Luffy or Anel and just starve them rather than letting them build up their hand size. And then we'll move on to our 2K lineup. So I do two Izo, four OP1 Beppo, and then four of the new Milky. So we have eight searchable 2Ks, and then two more of the Izo, just to further add to the resting. Izo can rest a four cost or less on play. So if, again, if you need to rest more bodies, you have Leader, you have Izo, you can play Izo and just really make sure you're dictating the board state. Beppo, uh, I almost, I pretty much never played this. This is just to have a searchable 2K. And Milky, uh, again, a searchable 2K, but once in a while, if you want to set up a play, her ability is pretty good. You can rest her to restand one of your Dawn, so long as your leader is a Mink, which is always going to be live in this deck. So 10 2Ks total. And then we'll move on to one of my favorite cards in the deck. For Pedro. This card is a blocker, 1k counter, and then on KO, you can either rest one of your opponent's active Dawn or KO up to one of your opponent's rested characters with a cost of six or less. So, either way, this is going to generate you some value. They're going to have to play around it, be smart with their Dawn usage. If they swing at this early or KO it too early, or swing early and then you just block and you can rest one of their Dawn right away so that they don't have their dawn allocation is a little messed up they have to be a little bit more creative with their turns or you can just kill something on there obviously blue decks or decks that bounce or bottom deck they find their way around it but again it depends it demands a response if they don't want you messing things up and then we'll move on to the five costs of the deck so we'll start with the non-mink we have three jewelry bonnie we all know what she does from the last meta, but she's an OPO7 card, but just for the sake of it, she can freeze an opponent's rested character or a rested Dawn for a turn. So again, with this deck, because this leader rests and the package rests so much, I went a little, I, I went all in on the resting freeze play style. So not too concerned about hard removal in this deck, rather than just keeping your opponent's characters frozen and then forcing them to kind of play around that. If they have a full board and the whole board is frozen, they're going to have to kill their own characters just to play new characters. And then Bonnie, freezing a Dawn is just excellent, especially uh, against decks, uh, against black decks or any deck that runs Moria or requires 10 Dawn to do some crazy Moria combo like Black Yellow Luffy. Freezing a Dawn feels fantastic. You, I mean, freezing a character is obviously good, but freezing a Dawn for a turn and making them have to use less Dawn than they anticipated is always an annoyance for your opponent. And then we run one of the new Nekomamushi and four of the new Inurashi. So Nekomamushi, if your opponent has seven or more rested cards that includes Dawn, this character gains Rush. So again, I, I run it as a one of because, you know, just to be able to add a little bit more pressure, but I wanted to make more space for Inurashi. Inurashi on play, if your leader is a mink, you can freeze up to two characters 
with a cost of five or less and they have to be rested but again like i said maxing out on the freezing resting combo play style and then you know they both have some heavy stat lines and you'll see them being five costs is pretty significant and then the star of the deck is four carrot carrot is such a pressure point in this deck on play and when attacking freeze up to one of your opponent's char rested characters with a cost of seven or less i mean that is so powerful i don't i don't even need to explain it like i'm stumbling over my words because of how little i need to say about it uh, it stops so many decks that are mid-range or aggro right in their steps i said steps but i meant tracks but it's all good okay going into our top end I run four Hody Jones, just, I mean, it's a green deck. Hody's probably arguably one of the best cards in the game, arguably the best green card. On play, take one of your life, rest a total of two of your opponent's characters or Dawn, and it has Rush, AK. Great for ending games, but it's also a great combo piece with uh, some of the other events and cards that are in the deck. And then we run three Rosinante. I run three because you want to see it, you don't have to see it. Uh, we have uh, a bunch of, <clears throat> we have 12 five cost targets, uh, which is fantastic, right? You can play out Bonnie, you can play out Inurashi, you can play out Nekomamushi, you can play out Carrot with this, and it protects them from being KO'd. And him being an AK body is also significant. It's just really good. And then my favorite card for 10 drop Doflamingos. Again, self explanatory on play, freeze three characters or leader, 10k body. Great for stalling out. And when you stack, when you stack them, you know, play them back to back, it, it really makes it difficult for your opponent to play. So we have so many things that are freezing and resting. You can use your leader ability, Hody, excuse me, Hody and uh, Izo to get things rested consistently. And then you have Inurashi, you have Carrot, you have uh, Tendrop Dofi to keep things frozen while still being aggressive, attacking your opponent, developing a body that needs to be answered. Just really frustrating for your opponent to try to deal with. Going into the events and stage, I run three Zo. Again, this is a great card. You really want to see it. You don't have to, but it makes your games a lot easier if you see it early. What Zo does is activate main. You may rest this stage. If your leader has a mink type, you can set one of your Dawn as active. So again, just gives you another Dawn to play with during your turns. And then at the end of your turn, you can set up to one of your main characters as active. So it helps keep things uh, interesting for your opponent you can attack with you know your larger mink bodies like nekomamushi uh, inurashi and uh, carrot but then restand them so they're not able to swing back into them on the following the opponent can't clap back at them or it allows you to keep uh, get aggressive with pedro who's your blocker you can swing with your blocker and then restand him so that he's ready to soak up hit afterwards great stage and it's also the first foil stage and I think it looks great. It is a beautiful card. And then for our events, I run three Electric Luna and three of the zero cost event. Uh, three of the zero cost event, you gotta do it. There's a lot of bricks in the deck. The top end is pretty heavy. We have 11, uh, 11 top end cards. And then, you know, if you draw into multiple stages, it just helps you cycle out some of those cards that otherwise would be bricks. And the trigger does come up, rest a character that costs four or less. And then the all-star of the deck, Electric Luna. I mean, this deck, this card stops decks like Kalgara, Black Yellow Luffy, Dofi. It is so good. And the fact that it's just three cost is insane. So what this card does is all of your opponent's rested characters with a cost of seven or less will not become active in your opponent's next refresh phase. And its triggers rest up to any one of your opponent's characters. 
So again, maxing out on that freeze control play style. I mean, you don't even have to use Hody as a game ender anymore. You can rest seven dawn, play Hody, rest two things, and make sure that there's nothing swingable on your opponent's side of the place. Spend the rest of the three dawn, play this, and you've bought yourself essentially another turn. It is so good. There's so many ways to combo this, and it just stops so many decks from doing what they need to with full boards. All right, so here's the full deck list for those of you that just like to see the overall view and maybe take a screenshot, dissect the list a little bit more. Thank you guys for watching. You know, uh, I love this deck. It's a lot of fun. I don't see it being an S tier deck. I definitely think it's uh, a competitive deck. It does really well into uh, decks that like to go wide, that are a little lower to the ground. That seven below is your sweet spot. I mean, the, the top end bodies, I mean, you have your Dofi to kind of deal with that, your 10 drop Dofi to deal with that. But again, it struggles against decks like NL where it's all top end and the majority of the deck can't really interact with it until you get to your late game. Uh, so it does struggle there, but overall, there's a lot of really great things that this deck does and it executes it really well. Um, so give it a shot. Uh, let me know what you think would change. I, I mean, uh, I did win a locals with it, but I still think it's very much a work in progress. I settled on these numbers and they feel really good, uh, but I definitely think there's room for improvement as I keep messing around with it. But I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, I'll try to record some games so you guys can see it in action. And then, uh, yeah, keep coming back for more content like this, you guys. Mm -hmm.